So I wanted to talk about the potential of using Amanita muscaria as a trip killer. If you don't know who I am, I'm Amanita Dreamer. I am your resident Amanita muscaria person. A lot of my videos have been harshly censored by YouTube, so I made my own website, amanitadreamer.net, and that's where everything is. So if there's something you wanna know when you're not finding it on YouTube, that's where it is. And if you feel like what I'm doing here is helpful, please buy me a coffee to help me pay the bills. So Amanita muscaria uses the same pathways in the brain as the GABA pathways. They plug into those receptors, and that's the same pathways that the benzodiazepine class of drugs use. So if you're ever having a bad trip and you go to the emergency room to stop it, they're going to give you a benzodiazepine. Clonopin, Valium, Xanax. That's, that's what ends a trip. <clears throat> so I sort of hypothesized from the very beginning that Amanita could be used as, as one of those. And I would talk about this with my patrons and on Zooms and stuff like that. And I got other people coming in then and starting to talk about it and starting to talk about stacking. So as with everything with this mushroom, nothing is simple. It tends to be a little more nuanced and complex. So while there's a hypothesis and then I've tested it, about Amanita muscaria being able to end a trip. There's also stacking of it, and then there's thresholds. So we're gonna talk about all of that. So first I wanna talk about trip killing. So I had this hypothesis for a long time. And then when I went to Canada back in October of 21, and you can see all that video, that I think I've got all that in a playlist. <laughs> I went to Vancouver and you can see there where there's a dispensary for mushrooms in Vancouver. And I went in and I bought something. I just picked a smaller packet, whatever, because I didn't need that many and I was gonna use them, I was gonna trip on them, and I was gonna do it on camera. But then I found the mother load of Amanitas. And so then there's this whole video on a whole 24 hour forage, like around the clock for 24 hours, leading up to me having to leave, get on a plane and come home. So I still had these mushrooms. <laughs> and I'm like, damn it, I wanted to take them. And I got up that morning to leave for the airport and I ran across them while I'm going through my luggage and everything, making sure, you know, nothing illegal comes home or crosses a border. And I'm like, damn it, they weren't even open. So I was like, well, I'll microdose and I'll just have to flush the rest of them, which made me really sad. It was really, really sucked, really sucked. So I had like three of them. They were small. I don't even remember the, so I broke off part of a stem, you know, whatever. I ate it. I, I leave. I pack up. I leave. I am in the cab when I was like, oh no, like colors are starting to get sharp. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I took so little. No. Oh my God. Cause I already had been harassed at the border and I knew I did not want to start dealing with that bullshit. I still had to go get a COVID test in the airport. I had to get in line really super early. The sun wasn't even up yet. Like it was still dark outside. I'm having to cross a border, like long flight, mm -mm, can't do this. And so I was telling myself, it's fine, it's fine. I just took a tiny bit too much, like this is as bad as it's gonna get. And I was like, something inside me knew. <laughs> By the time I got to the airport, holy shit, like I couldn't stop grinning. And I was like, okay, this is, this is bad as it's gonna get, this is bad as it's gonna get, this is bad as it's gonna get. <laughs> I had to walk long distance in the airport, get to the COVID thing, sign in for my appointment. If they call my name, y'all, my God, it was tripping. I was like, okay, I can handle this. It's manageable. <laughs> I get up to the guy and he's like, name. And I tell him, and he, I had a fanny pack on. I wear it for travel. He's like, nice fanny pack. And I went, ooh. <laughs> in the morning y'all and see if I can make the face that he made <laughs> he's looking down at a computer and he went do you have any I can't remember but I, I remember he reached up at me because it looked it looked like his hand just came all the way up into my face so I went <laughs> he's just 
just like, oh my God. And so he took, I think it was my ID. It was <laughs> the whole exchange had to have been so weird from his side. <laughs> anyway. Oh, it was so funny, y'all. Oh, my God. And I'm like, just calm down. Just calm down. You can do this. Just don't laugh. Just calm down. I got through that. Like, I got my composure together. I finished this little mini interview thing. I went inside. They did the whole thing, you know, with my nose. And I'm like, just trying not to laugh because it felt like they were shoving it up into my soul, into a universe beyond. Oh, and I'm just, like, trying to breathe. So I sit down and I'm waiting for the results and it just keeps getting worse. I'm like, my God, what was that strain? And then I remembered I had Amanita tincture with me that one of my friends had made and given me. And I'm like, fuck, I can test it now. And I had it in my suitcase because I hadn't checked my bags yet. Man, I was digging through there. I found that stuff. I took like three droppers full of that shit. And I'm like, please work, please work, please work. I'm just sitting there trying to breathe and like just things are going off all around me. And I had about a 30 minute wait for the test. And all of a sudden, I mean, it was like a switch. All of a sudden I was like, boom, like I landed. And I looked around, I was like, oh, what the fuck? It worked. I don't know if that small amount would have worked on like a huge trip, but y'all, it fucking worked. Like everything just stopped. Everything stopped. I was landed back in my body. Everything was just cut off. Just cut off. I was like, oh my God. And like right after that, they called my name. Negative. Time to go. The, the trip home was uneventful. And I was like, okay, I got to make a video about this. <laughs> it's been almost a year. I hadn't made a stupid video. I've been so busy. Oh my God. I'm so busy. <laughs> so I wanted you to know that. And this is really good information. So it's cool. It works, and that's a good thing to know. The other thing then is about stacking, and a lot of people ask about it. So I haven't done that yet, but here's what I'm getting from the community is there is a threshold. So people said if they took Amanita and then they took psilocybin that it killed the trip, or this felt like the psilocybin never kicked in. And then people said if they took the psilocybin first, and a small amount of Amanita, it gave them a bump, but I don't know how to describe that bump. So I will eventually do that on camera at some point. If I do, I'll try to remember to tag it at the end of this video, but you'll have to look in the playlist of I do entheogens on camera. By the way, if you wanna see me doing all these different things, they're in my playlist at amanitadreamer.net where I do entheogens, that playlist over there, cause YouTube won't let me do it. So if you're interested, you can go see that but if I do that's where I'll put it so there is a threshold where if you take the psilocybin first and then you take the amanita it's going to kill it I don't know where that threshold is and I don't think it's a line I'm pretty sure it's going to depend on the strain of the psilocybin you're taking how much and everybody's different kind of thing so it's going to be more nuanced when you're in the higher doses so the takeaway is amanita first and you won't be able to really go anywhere. Psilocybin first with a small amount of Amanita gives you something that I don't know what it is, but it's a bump. And then at some point, enough Amanita and you kill the trip. That's what I understand. That's the takeaway from all of this. And if you want to talk to me about any of this stuff, I have Zooms that I do through my private patron community. I had to get off Patreon because of censorship, but it's Mushroom Voice. And that's my store. My store opens once a month and I hand make all of my products and it usually sells out in two or three days. It takes me a month to make more stuff, especially now with all the travel and the documentary about Amanita that I'm making. <laughs> Depending on what year you see this, it's already out. But right now in 2022, we're still just filming it. We're hoping for release in 2023. But if you want to talk to me and Zoom with me, we have a lot of themed Zooms with a lot of other hosts, too. And we get into some pretty cool topics. But if you go to mushroomvoice.com, you can see all of the themes and topics that we get into. And it's a pretty cool community that we're developing there for other people that use entheogens. Not just Amanita, but we're just trying to build a, a cool community of places where everybody can hang out and 
we're still learning about Amanita. So we're doing a lot of experimenting and people that are experimenting are coming there and talking about it and bouncing ideas off of each other. So I, I like it, I'm proud of it. It warms my heart to know that this is what we're doing. I hope that helps. I know there's something I need to cover or say and I'm forgetting it, but whatever. <laughs> okay, I got a pack for Europe. Going to Europe to continue filming the documentary. If you wanna see behind the scenes and all that stuff, I post on Instagram and the community tab here on YouTube. But if you're not subscribed to the channel, you won't see it. That's not my rule, that's, that's a YouTube thing. And I'm gonna be doing a lot of Zooms from different countries in Europe so that I can bring you with me and be like, hey, you know, there's the Eiffel Tower or whatever. So if you wanna join our Zoom community, do that. And then, um, yeah, Instagram, community tab, that's it. That's everything. I love you, beautiful people. Thanks for being here still. It's crazy. All this shit is so crazy. It's so crazy that this is all happening, right? Bye. <laughs>